G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm going to do another mod on the uh, little engine here, the little uh, Banggood motor. And um, in this case, it's the muffler. The muffler has uh, a problem. It uh, blew the end off of it, so this little plug sealed this end of this tube, it's, sort of, it's open on that end. And I can fix it, but no problem. I mean, they soldered it, but I think the heat from the uh, exhaust was too much for the solder. I mean, it must have melted it. And it came out. So I have to take it off. I'll come in close on it. So to do that, I've got to unscrew the little muffler. Both the exhaust and the inlet um, stalks or stems or tubes, or manifolds, I suppose you call them, they screw in, they appear to screw into the head. But of course you can't unscrew it there's not enough clearance it won't uh, it won't clear the fuel tank and it won't clear the box and the easiest way would be to take the head off and take, disconnect the spark plug take out these bolts disconnect the rockers and the head should come off and then you can then you can work on it then you can uh, unscrew it without interfering with anything else so that's what I'll do. I mean, the alternative is to take the fuel tank off, which wouldn't be hard, and take the motor off the box, the base, which also wouldn't be hard. Hmm. Do I want to disturb the head? It's a matter of how the head's sealed, and if I bugger up the, the gasket, well, the ceiling O-ring or whatever they've got there, it looks like a copper, a copper gasket. So, maybe the best thing would be to take the motor off the base, drop the fuel tank off, and then, would it clear it? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would still hit the base. So, I'm going to have to take the head off. <clears throat> There's no two ways about it. So I can either repair this or I could make up a, a different muffler. And that's what I think I'll do, make up a different muffler. I don't like this little end on it. It looks pretty crappy. It looks like something from a plumbing shop. I'd rather make a similar type barrel muffler with a straight out pipe just coming straight out. And that would look pretty cool and it would blow, I mean... Why it's got a nine degree bend in it is beyond me. You could just have a straight pipe and it would look a hell of a lot better, in, all in brass. And, uh, yeah, wouldn't be difficult to make that at all, really. So that's what we'll do. The next step will be to pull the head off. So let's do it. So the first thing I think will be disconnect the spark plug. Okay. Now we just connect the rockers and get it in the top bit center. And then take out the rods, keep them in order so that one's top. And that one's bottom. Now the head bolts should undo and the head should lift off. So we'll do that.
Right, so here's the the head. Yeah, it's all clean, isn't it? There's no carbon. Looks good. Really good. Yeah, so it must be running pretty well. Hmm, the spark plug is recessed a long way back in there. So you could use a longer reach spark plug. It's threaded all the way through, so that's quite good. You can see where it's popped to the end off the muffler. That should plug should be in there, but it's not. So I could easily fix that, but I think I'll make a, a better muffler. The head sits flat, so it's got a yeah, it's got a reasonable combustion chamber there. Hmm, all good. Right now, having a close look at this, the little manifold that screws into the head is silver soldered in so that's what it should be but this plug is plain solder which won't stand up to the heat so what I might do I'll look at my uh, BSB British Standard Brass taps and see if I've got one that will fit that hole will make it fit that hole and I might tap a little thread in there and then tap up a bit of rod, brass rod, that I can screw in there and uh, seal it with um, muffler putty, muffler gooby goo. And that way I don't have to uh, heat this up. I mean, I could heat this up and silver solder the plug, but then you run a risk of melting that out and you could get into more trouble. So. If I can tap a thread and just thread in a plug and then machine it back, it wouldn't be hard to stick that in the stick that in the uh, chuck and just bring it back a level on the end and yeah. So I'm going to check that out. Right, so I've tapped a 7 16th BSB thread, which is quite a fine thread, in the end of this. So now I've got the, uh, the dial, turn some brass, cut a thread and screw it in, seal that end off properly. And I haven't disturbed anything else, so yeah, should be okay. Right, well I've threaded and plugged the, the back of this. The brass I used had a little hole in it, so I just put a grub screw in there. You won't see that, but it will just seal it. And uh, it's got muffler putty on it. And now this is the extension I've made up, and that's going to go on... Which way around does it go? It goes that way. So I'll just press that on. I could solder it, but I think I'll press on fit. It won't move, so we'll try that anyway, see how she goes. Right, well, she's back together. I had to shorten the pipe slightly so it would clear the carby. But uh, it looks good. Yeah, so now we put it back together again. And uh, that'll bake all that uh, manifold seal on. Okay.
they're running really good now. Really good. Yeah, well that turned out really well. Didn't take that long. And the finished product looks a lot better than that cruddy thing they had on there. And uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Really pleased with that. Really good improvement. And she sounds pretty good too, like um, not bad at all.